part of the fun of life. Oh, the zero. Good morning. It's reading a whole group time, and I had something important that I wanted to share with you, which is why I have a camera and a video and talking, saying words at this point about reading whole group. A couple changes we're making are as follows. Do pay attention. Change number one. You get to choose which video you will be watching for whole group. There will be uh, five different books, five different videos for you to choose from. And we have four reading lessons over the next few days. You choose which one you feel like watching uh, for that day. There'll be one that you don't get to. That's okay. I don't take offense because you got to do the other ones. So you'll watch four of them over the next four lessons. You choose which one you want to watch on each day. Maybe you feel like um, looking at a comedy that I share. Maybe you feel like watching uh, the me go through a love story. Maybe you feel like watching me go through Origami Yoda on a certain day. You know, some days we feel different than other days. So let's let you choose which story you feel like. For all four of them, really gonna focus in on questioning. And not just asking lame questions like, why is that car red? Why, why, why are you wearing a hat? Uh, um, why is there a fence over there? Yeah, the questions that are meaningful. So I really want to just unpack for you the way my mind works when I read. I grew up not really liking reading. Actually, you know, you know, because of my ear, I didn't read very well. I was always in all the struggling reading groups. I did not grow to love reading really until I met my wife, who was just like the craziest reader ever. The woman reads everything all the time, nonstop. And she's my favorite person, so I thought I'd give this thing more a shot. But what makes reading really great is thinking through it and trying to figure things out uh, while I'm reading. It's not just reading it to finish it. That kind of gets boring. It's asking meaningful questions that help me figure out what's going on with the characters. Why did you act that way? Why did I do that? Wait a minute. That doesn't quite seem right to me. I think this character is suspicious. Wait, I don't agree with the way that she handled that. That is shocking, right? Whatever it might be. So uh, asking questions that really lead me to real things. I just want to share with you the way that I think through that. Uh, there'll be five different books on Epic that I share with you. And I will also give you a little preview. In case you want to go read one of these books, uh, find out what happens after I share it with you. Um, find out what happens. Um, then after you watch the video, you know there's always a video check just to make sure that you watch the video. Because can you believe it? Sometimes... <laughs> you tell me you watched the video and you didn't. <laughs> you lie. This is such a crazy thing. I can't believe you will. You can't. Oh, it's just. Yeah. So there will be a video check after each video. They will be Nearpods. So if you pick video number two, then you'll pick Nearpod number two. And there'll be questions connected to that video that you watched. So five videos. Did you get to choose one? over the next four reading lessons. That's two this week and two next week. So you'll, end, you'll actually will end up watching four of them and finding about four of the stories and hearing me think through and ask questions about four of the stories. And the other one will just kind of be lost down in the space. You'll never know what happened. You'll never know. And then make sure you do the Nearpod video check. We won't be using Socratic video check for reading any longer because, you know, Nearpods are gonna work better, so. Why right, you ask so many questions? Wait, question, that's what you're supposed to do. Only meaningful questions. Not like, why is that car's blinker on? Because he's turning. Why is he turning? Because he needs to go that way to go home. Some questions are just random questions. Some questions are, why are you wearing a Star Wars shirt? Because my wife bought it for me and I I wear which I should think I should go. All right, the changes are, you choose the video, then you choose the Nearpod, and um, we'll all be practicing the same skills. So it'll be about eight minutes worth of me thinking and sharing and asking questions. Bye, Zs.